Good morning, everybody. Today we're going to be talking about the threads that I use and how they affect my designs. We got some solid threads, some variegated threads, and some twisted threads. We're going to be doing a bunch of crosses, and I will show you how the different threads affect this design. This shows the difference between your solid and your uh, variegated thread here. This is the exact same design grapes, but with the solid, it has it really doesn't have a lot of dimension to it. But if you use the variegated, it automatically puts in highlights and lowlights into your grapes and you don't have to worry about getting a design that switches threads a hundred different times for the one grape design. As you can see here, I have a solid and a variegated thread. The solid does not look as good as when I use the variegated with this design. And I'm really loving this Floriana variegated thread. So from there, we're going to go to the twisted threads next. Now we're going to talk a little bit about the twisted thread. As you can tell with the twisted thread, it's actually two threads twisted within each other. Um, these are a little bit harder to work with. The thread breaks more on the machine than they do with the variegated or the solid. But um, if you slow your machine down, it won't be a problem at all. But as you can see, the design that I'm working with today does not look good with the twisted thread. But if you have a more solid design, like this spider, you can end up with a really, really cool effect with this twisted thread that you don't get with a variegated or a solid thread. So that's something you need to think about when you're doing your designs. This is a solid spider, but looks way cooler with the twisted thread. Now we're going to start to hoop this. We're going to use the sticky back stabilizer. We're going to just place this in the middle. I'm going to um, put two pins on each side to keep it stable. We don't want that to come off there. For this one, we're going to be using the Floriani 49 variegated. You can get these at your Floriani stores or uh, a lot of the specialty embroidery shops will have the Floriani thread there. We are going to put all of the uh, links to these threads and designs in the description below. I have my thread loaded, my designs on the machine, and now we just need to let this stitch. This is going to be really cool because you'll get to see how it varies from a lighter to a darker and then back to a lighter again. And I have this set up to run twice so it gives it more depth. So it'll be done in about 10 minutes. We're going to pull this out now that it's done stitching. And as you can see, the variegated thread looks so much better than a, than a solid thread stitch. So we're going to sew this up so it looks like a cozy. And I'll get back with you here in a second. We unhooped our cozy and we're going to stitch this together by placing these, the right sides in. Like that. We're going to be using a heavier duty thread to stitch it together with. And we're going to run a seam down here, a quarter inch seam, all the way down this edge of the cozy. The cozies come with 
the seam and allowance a seam allowance notch right here so you can you can see exactly how far in you need to stitch go back and forth a couple times and then down the other side of the cozy Turn this inside out, and you have a really, really nice cozy. If you want to see more videos like this, please like, share, and subscribe, and we'll get back to you again next week with something new.